what these drills really are good for are developing especially the cuts, the changes of direction, and the body control, the weaving in and out. I really like them for that. So when you're coming through these cones, I want you to imagine that these are two players and I'm cutting between them. Because that is a touch that you will do in a game. So if you're gonna do the dribbling drills, if you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Just try to do them with pace, and I'll give you a few examples of realistic drills that may make this more. So if you're gonna do a double touch, inside outside just make sure it is nice and quick and whenever I'm changing direction I'm always focusing on that low center of gravity okay pushing off because that's what this is really beneficial for it's the cuts between players between two players and those sharp changes of direction the technique of the cut because a lot of times especially if you're starting out and I'm trying to go that way, my cut is probably here. So learning to actually bring that ball back into you and make it go where you want with one touch. So that's what I would move to next after the double touch is the single touch. Okay, right foot, wait, let me go again, cause that's sloppy. Good, so notice the, the technique of the cut, as I said, really overemphasizing, turning the foot, turning the hips when I'm cutting. The thing I want you to think about as far as body movement is actually skipping away while you're making that outside cut. Because I can just take a touch, but if I really want to get good at avoiding tackles, learning to really jump away with that touch is gonna to help me escape more defenders. How many times have you seen Messi dribbling full speed, someone comes to tackle him, just skips out of the way, continues with his dribble. So think about adding that, the low center of gravity on the cuts, bending the knees, not just focusing on your touches, but focusing on control of the body, and then skipping away from tackles. Next one you could do is a inside touch, but again, is that realistic? Go slow to build up your rhythm, but I want to be going a little quicker each time. And I should be making mistakes every so often, just like that. Because if I'm not, then I'm not challenging myself. You could do the same, but a double touch. You know I do like this one. Because it's a touch I use all the time. He's lunging for the ball. I take it away from him. The next one you could do is a drag back, roll back. But let's try two versions, two touch, one touch. One touch would be, again, like the inside foot. Good skill. Is it realistic? Would you actually dribble like that in a match? No, but good to have that technique. More realistic is probably dragging back from the defender. Good. So I've talked about this before. If I'm doing the skill, if I'm trying to beat him and my touch is there, he's probably sticking down his foot, easy tackle. That's why I want more of that side touch and a skip. Same goes for this inside touch. Again, if I'm touching it here. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. But if I'm touching out here, he's not going to get me. Same for the roll. If I roll it over nice and easy like that, that's easy for him to tackle. If I actually drag it away from him, drag it back into myself, that's much harder for him to get. The last materialistic dribbling drill with cones that I'll show you is the toughest one for me. 
so I saved it to last, is this outside skip touch, but I'm changing feet each time, okay? And the reason that's so difficult is because I need really good control of my body, really good balance. If I'm trying to do this up here, lunging, just having nice touches, not gonna happen. I have to have really good balance, really bend the knees, quick feet, good rhythm, but this is realistic movement. These are movements that are going to allow you to get away from defenders. Okay, so when you're doing these drills, think about a few things. Obviously the quality of those touches, but really overemphasizing the cuts. So the technique of the foot, really overemphasizing, especially if I'm trying to go the opposite direction, really get your foot around it. The hips, really turning the hips around the bowl, not just trying to dribble like this, cut direction like this, getting my hips around it, bringing the ball back into me rather than across the defender's foot and that low center of gravity, whether I'm skipping away from someone or I'm changing direction, shielding the ball. One more bonus drill for you. And this one is probably the best because it's the most realistic. I would just say go for a freestyle dribble. So use whatever skill you want to get through those cones. Hit different touches, be creative. This is more realistic. That's something that would happen in a game. You'd have to figure yourself out, figure a way to get through the defenders. Get if you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.